Welcome to another episode of Out Place Artifacts, where we explore the strangest and most mysterious objects that have been discovered around the world. These artifacts are not just ordinary objects from the past, they challenge everything we thought we knew about history, and they have the power to change our understanding of the world around us. In this episode, we'll be examining five more mysterious Out Place artifacts that will leave you questioning its purpose and origins. If you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to subscribe and check our other episodes after the video in the description below. The Decalogue Stone The Decalogue Stone, also known as the Mystery Stone, is located on a mountain in west central New Mexico's desolate desert near Las Lagunas, roughly 35 miles south of Albuquerque. It's been suggested that the writing on the stone face is written in a kind of Paleo-Hebrew or Kripiotic Greek, two languages that are thought to be extinct. The stone was first mentioned in print in 1933 by renowned New Mexico's archaeologist Frank Hibben, who wrote about seeing it on a guided tour conducted by a man who claimed to have discovered it in the 1880s. The claimed presence of the inscription in the late 1800s was situated before the present scientific discoveries of both Paleo-Hebrew and Kripiotic Greek. Nonetheless, the inscriptions might be in Phoenician, a popular script at that period. Based on a 1949 translation by Harvard researcher Robert Pfeiffer, supporters of the Paleo-Hebrew inscription say that it's a record of the Judeo-Christian Ten Commandments. Dixie Perkins an epigrapher at the University of New Mexico suggests the idea of the inscription being Cryptiotic Greek, which was employed circa 500 BC in the Mediterranean region in 1979. The stone appears to be a report from Zaki Neros, an adventurer or warrior who is now struggling to live after being lost in the woods, according to Perkins' translation. Many others, however, think the stone is a hoax, performed by Hibbins himself much of whose work has been proved to be fake in order to bolster the concept of ancient pre columbian contact and even pre clovis people in North America. The Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript is one of history's most cryptic and mysterious texts. It's a handwritten codex filled with pictures of vegetation, celestial figures, and odd otherworldly animals written in an unknown language or code. The Codex has been the subject of countless research, arguments, and ideas, but its exact purpose and provenance remains a mystery to this day. Wolfred Voynich, a Polish-born antiquarian and book merchant who purchased the manuscript in 1912, was named after it. The text was obtained by Voynich from the Jesuit College in Frascati, Italy, where it had been preserved since the early 17th century. The manuscript's origins are uncertain, although it's thought to have been composed in the early 15th century, probably in Italy. Because of its cryptic contents and uncertain provenance, the Voynich manuscript is regarded as an out-of-place artifact. The manuscript's language or code has never been decoded, despite years of efforts by cryptographers, linguists, and computer scientists. The manuscript's drawings are equally perplexing, showing fantastical and bizarre vegetation that are unlike any known species, as well as astronomical figures that do not correspond to any recognized celestial patterns. The origin and purpose of the document have been the subject of countless theories and conjectures. Researchers disagree as to whether the book is an alchemical script, astrological work, medieval medicinal, or an herbal manual. It has sparked the work of several books, documentaries, and even a Hollywood film. The manuscript's unusual and alien content continues to arouse interest and engage the imagination, and its actual significance and purpose may pique the interest of future generations. If you'd like to see the Voynich manuscript for yourself, the text has been digitized and posted online, making it accessible to scholars and fans from all over the world for in-depth study and analysis. The digitization of the book has also led to fresh efforts to decipher its language and pictures using powerful computer techniques and artificial intelligence. The Crystal Skull of Lubantan The Crystal Skull of Lubantan is a life-size skull 
constructed completely of transparent court crystal with intricate carvings that are supposed to accurately mimic the human skull. The skull was supposedly found in the early 20th century amid the remains of the ancient city of Lubantin in Belize and is thought to originate from ancient Mayan origin. The crystal skull's incredible degree of craftsmanship and attention to detail is among its most interesting features. The detailed carvings on the skull, which portrays even the tiniest elements of the human skull, such as the sutures between the cranial bones, gives it an astonishing lifelike appearance. Some people assume that the skull must be of ancient origin since the degree of detail would have required remarkable levels of skill and worksmanship. Mysteries surrounding the discovery of the skull has also been debated. Some believe that the skull was discovered by a British explorer named F. A. Mitchell Hedges in the 1920s, while others believe that a mine laborer who was excavating a temple in the historic city of Lubantin found it by accident. Others say it is an actual mine artifact made by experienced craftsmen using time-honored techniques. And lastly, others claim that it is a modern counterfeit made by someone wanting to capitalize on the public's interest in ancient items. One of the more fascinating hypotheses surrounding the crystal skull is that it is part of a bigger collection of identical skulls constructed by ancient civilizations all around the planet. According to this hypothesis, the skulls were utilized for a variety of functions ranging from religious rites to healing procedures and they may contain secret information or abilities that have been lost in time. The crystal skull's appeal and mystique continues to enthrall people all around the world, despite the fact that its exact origins and significance may never be completely known. Others say it is a potent talisman that may cure and bring good fortune to people who own it. Others regard it as a devious fake designed to deceive the naive and trusting. What do you think the crystal skull truly is? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The Oralinda Book The Oralinda Book is a controversial manuscript that claims to be a historical account of the Frisian people from 2194 BCE to 803 CE. Old Frisian, a language used in portions of Germany and the Netherlands, is the language of the book, which was supposedly founded in 1867 by Cornelius Over de Linden in the family archive in the Dutch town of Leeuwarden. The Hollandic priest, a group of Frisian priests who chronicled their history and religious views on a series of wooden tablets, are supposed to have written the text. Since its discovery, the genuineness of the Aura Linden book has been questioned. Some historians believe it is a real historical record that gives unique insight on Frisian culture and religion, while others say that it's a fake or counterfeit. The book's assertion that the Frisians were descended from Atland, a vanished civilization devastated by the cataclysmic flood, has been viewed with suspicion. The Orlinda book, regardless of its legitimacy, is regarded as an outplaced relic owned to the materials that it contains. The book is a narrative of history that differs greatly from mainstream views and calls into question many frequent held ideas about European history. The book also contains mythology and mythicism, which are not usually linked with historical works. The Orlinda book recounts a highly evolved civilization from the distant past, with technology and knowledge far exceeding that of present times. According to the book, the Renaissance was the first time that the Friesen's astronomical, architectural, and mathematical skills were fully appreciated. It also portrays a highly developed governance structure as well as a sophisticated theological belief system that included parts of Christianity, paganism, and ancestor worship. The book's thesis that the Friesians were descendants of Atland, whose civilization was destroyed by a catastrophic flood, has also piqued the curiosity of ancient world experts. Others believe Atland's narrative is tied to the myth of Atlantis, a lost civilization claimed to have lived in the Atlantic Ocean. Despite its contentious character, the Oralinda book has had an impact on a variety of movements and organizations. It has been linked to many nationalist and separatist movements in Europe and has been acknowledged as a source of inspiration by neo-pagan and new age organizations. Others believe the book includes predictions about future age of enlightenment or spiritual awakening.
The Ica Stones. The Ica Stones are a collection of approximately 15,000 carved stones unearthed in the 1960s in Peru's Ica province. The stones range in size from a few centimeters to several meters and are intricately carved with images portraying animals, humans, and modern technology. Because of their contentious nature, they're thought to be pre-Columbian in origin and have generated a great deal of discussion among academics. Basilio Uchuya, a local farmer, claimed to have found the stones in the cave network in the Andes Highland where he initially found them. Uchuya sold the stones to a local doctor named Javier Cabrera Darquilla, who grew enamored with their exquisite engravings and began collecting them. After collecting a sizable number of Ica stones over time and delving further into their research, Cabrera finally came to the conclusion that they were proof of an ancient civilization with highly developed technological and scientific expertise. In 1970, Cabrera started providing academics and journalists with pictures and explanations of the stones, which started to attract interest on a global scale. Several of the engravings on the Ica stones shows odd and contentious themes, such as dinosaurs and people conversing, complicated medical operations, and modern flying vehicles. Some academics believe the stones provide proof of a sophisticated pre-Columbian culture capable of achievements well beyond what was previously thought conceivable. Several scientists and archaeologists, however, questioned the validity of the Ica stones. The patterns on the stones, they claimed, were too complex and exact to have been made by pre-Columbian artists. Others further pointed out that the pictures painted on the stones contradicted what was known about the region's history and culture at the time. The debate concerning the Ica stones has raged on for decades, with no clear consensus among historians and experts. Others say that the stones are most likely genuine, citing their distinct and complex engravings as proof of their pre-Columbian provenance. While some have speculated that they are forgeries, manufactured by a local artist trying to capitalize on false ancient pre-Columbian artifacts or to promote tourism in the area. As we continue to uncover new out-of-place artifacts, we invite you to keep an open mind and to question everything you thought you knew about the past. These artifacts may challenge our preconceived notions but they also have the power to expand our understanding and to reveal new insight about the world we live in. Who knows what other mysterious objects are waiting to be discovered, and we look forward to exploring them with you in future episodes. Thanks for watching our Late Night Top 5 channel. We're a new channel and would love to have your support by subscribing, liking, or simply dropping a comment down below. To watch more interesting late night videos, click the links to continue watching more.